Do you have a permanent injury and find it difficult to mow your lawns? Come along with me and I'll show you the equipment I use that makes the job easier. Let's go. Hey guys, Musa here from Quantum Home Improvements and Solutions. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to show you the equipment I have to help me mow the lawns. Uh, I do suffer from a spinal injury called corda equina and it is permanent. So I'm not able to put pressure on my body and not for long periods. So just recently I made a video on how to eliminate lantana, which is a noxious weed. And to do that, I use this long reach hedge trimmer. And so I bought this from Michael from Emu Plains Mowers and he went through the whole range of what he had and this is the one that suited all my needs including my budget and so this particular brand is made by Bush Ranger and so it's a two-in-one in actual fact it's a brush cutter and then you could buy this attachment which is the 85003 and the brush cutter attachment is the 85001. Uh, this particular model is the MT2501 and it's probably not the best in their range but it works really well. I'm very happy with it. This particular one is a four stroke and I find it's very versatile, very easy to use. There is a point of attachment here which I can put my harness on so I can carry this hedge trimmer on my shoulders instead of carrying on my arms and reaching out. And so I just swivel around and turn and twist but my biggest problem is not the brush cutting slash whipper snipping. Uh, it is actually the mowing. So I bought a mower from an online company called Edison's and they sell the brand Brauma AG and the model is 890SXE which is a 21 inch 53 centimeter deck and so the reason I bought it is because it's got a rear wheel self propel so it takes the pressure off me but it's also got a key start so I don't have to pull a cord and it runs on a battery uh, so uh, the motor itself is four stroke and so it's a 248 cc motor okay so before I start I'll change back the hedge trimmer um, 85003 back to the brush cutter so first you pull the pin you take out the brush cutter attachment and just pull that out and it comes out quite easily. Okay, so now I'll just put the brush cutter in, place it into the hole, pull the pin, and you turn it until it locks off, and there it is there. Okay, so I'll just fuel it up. I'm using unleaded petrol, uh, 95 octave. Uh, you shouldn't use any ethanol petrol on these machines. Okay, so I'm ready now to do the brush cutting, whipper snipping. Uh, but first I'll put on my PPE. So please make sure that you follow the manufacturer's specifications on your oils and also on your fuels. So when you do buy the raw mower, it comes in a box and you have to unpack it and put it all together. And it does not have any oil in the motor, so please remember that. Okay, so first I'll do the brush cutting, whipper snipping. Harness on. I'll just start this up, it's quite easy to do. First you prime, so push it in a few times. Start, you put your choke on. Okay, so that started pretty easily. Uh, I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute just to warm up. I have taken the choke off completely. Uh, on a warm day, it generally won't need the choke too much or too for too long. So I did forget to lock this off. So remember when you do put your attachment in and it fits into the pin, Turn the knob and lock it off. So that's better, he was moving. All right, so now I'll just attach this and we'll see how this works. That balances nicely, that feels really good. Not heavy at all. And that looks about the right length for me to reach out. All right, let's see how this goes.
That was done in record time. This is a great machine. I love the attachment and the motor's nice and smooth. Very happy with that. Okay, so now I'll set up the lawnmower and uh, mow the lawn. All right, so I'll start the lawnmower. Now this is where the battery pack is. It's just there and it's rechargeable. So you make sure it's charged fully, put that in place. You put it on run, just press the ignition. Uh, this hasn't run, been run before. Beautiful. What a kick that's got. Okay, so I'll just set things to low. Okay, I'll get into it now. Okay, so that did the flat spot pretty easily. Now we'll see how we go on a hill. That turned out really well. Okay, it's all done and I'm very happy with it. I wasn't sure what to expect buying this from eBay and at the price I did, um, but the motor is actually quite strong. It works nice and smooth. The self propel is quite good. Um, it is a little slow, but for my back and for my legs, because I can't walk very quickly, um, it actually was perfect. Um, so if you're looking for a self propelled mower that's fast, uh, this might be an issue for you. So another thing I found was the grass was a bit moist and was sticking to the decking of the motor. And so if I turned the motor off to empty the catcher, uh, I couldn't start it again so I'd have to clean out the actual decking and so I could start the mower so the battery is not very high amperage so what I'd suggest is just keep your mower on idle uh, when you're emptying the catcher and that way you can just keep the motor on all the time and another thing that was happening was choking up in the deck um, because the grass catcher itself is very narrow and it doesn't have a big escape for the grass to get out so uh, that was a bit of an issue so it's okay in dry weather but in, when the grass is slightly moist uh, you're gonna have a little bit of an issue with the actual collection of the grass. And another thing I noticed is that it has two welded screws on the bottom of these handles and, and they broke. So I had to get a new screw and uh, just to hold it in place. So as good as this mower is, if I had my time again, I probably wouldn't have bought it. I would have waited until I could afford it and would have gone to Michael from Emu Plains Mowers and bought a better one. Um, that way, uh, if anything did go wrong, uh, I could just take it back to him and it'd be under warranty. Or if I just wanted to have it serviced, he could service it for me. But now uh, I've got a bit of an issue if anything does break down on this mower. 
but on the upside, I'm very happy with my Bush Ranger brush cutter slash hedger. That is a brilliant machine, very easy to use, very quick, very smooth. I'm very happy with it. And I did buy that from Michael. So I will put a link below for Michael from Emu Plains Mowers and for Bush Ranger. Um, and also I'll put a link below for the Lantana video, how to remove Lantana. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. And if you have any comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you. And I'd ask you to please consider to subscribe, hit the like button and share this video and there's many more to come. Thanks guys.